guys welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title this is my traveler's notebook collection hmm <laughs> I don't have that very many left um am I missing one why do I feel like I'm missing one no I'm not okay sorry uh, we're trying to get comfortable on the bed that was graciously set up next to my desk because she needs to be with me. Um, I'm gonna start with one that isn't actually mine, but it may be mine. <laughs> this is a traveler's notebook. What size is it? Is this a passport size? Yes. Um, and I gave this to my husband like two years ago. And look, oh my God, it looks so good. He just, <laughs> I'm loving all this, this marking and discoloration he actually kept this in he keeps this in his backpack or man purse um <laughs> i can't remember the last time he used it though and so he's just got um like a little pocket this is an odor ray pen i have one i i bought this one and i freaking loved it and i when i set this up for him i gave him this pen and then i ended up ordering one for myself. This is a um, insert from Amazon. I don't know where this came from. Oh, wow. Uh, my husband is like a coach, soccer coach. Anyways, but these are cool. Look. Oh, I didn't even know they made them in the size. Oh, wow. I don't know he had that in there. And here he's got another one. He's got some post-it notes. Oh, my God. Guys, this is super cute. I can't get over her cute. Look, it's all worked up. This makes me want a camel TN so bad it's not even funny. So I can see it get marked up like this. And I'll explain that later when I get to mine. But oh my god, I may just take over this. This is too cute. Let's go with size. Let's start with size. So I have a pocket. Oh, this is super old. This is a Chic Sparrow Mr. Darcy Burgundy Pocket Deluxe, I think is what they were back in the day. Um, it's super marked up and scuffed up. Still has the original elastic too. Oh, look at that, that spine coloring. Oh, wow, oh, I haven't opened this in forever. I haven't used this in forever, I want to. This is one of my favorite leathers and I was just so upset when it got discontinued. And this color too, it was, it's beautiful. Pen loop, oh man. This charm, again, my initial, it has been on here since I got this thing. So I love this, I'm never gonna, oh, and it has my name on it, but I love this. Never gonna let it go, never gonna give you up. Okay, next pocket. This is, mm, I think it's called Autumn Rose Studio or something like that. Autumn Rose. I'll link it. It's um, on Etsy. And I requested like paw prints on it because I like me paw prints. That's the branding right there, but it doesn't have a name. It's just Autumn Rose. I think it's Autumn Rose. Um, I have some field notes in here. Oh, you guys remember these? I have two, I think, or one notebook that I still haven't used because it, it pains me. It has like, um, I think it's called Crossfield. And it's green, gray, I don't know. And then, of course, the awesome uh, National Parks. I have um, two of the National Park series, but I've only used the one notebook. <sighs> I can't get, I, I try. This size is, even though I love the Chic Sparrow, the size is, I don't know. Next we have, uh, this is from the Red Leather Studio on Etsy. This was custom made because I asked her to make it a little bit wider than, um, than a regular B6. And I have a wolf stamp. I'm gonna link her down below. She's actually having a major sale in her shop. So if you're looking for a TN that is like cheap and like this type of leather, like 
not floppy leather, get to her. Um, I haven't used this in forever. This is one of those Target one spot. Look at that. Oh, well, that's pretty. Huh. Again, I haven't used this in, I don't even know how long. I do love it. Mm, it smells yummy. I love this size, to be honest, actually. Oh, you know what used to be in here? I used this for a long time. My uh, B6 Stalogy used to be in here. It was in here for a very long time. So this actually got a lot of used. Not of used, ugh. This actually got a lot of use. I just haven't used it in a long time. Uh, standard size, let's go with standard size. I don't know if the shop will ever, ever reopen. This is from Jane's Enigma on Etsy. <sighs> I can't I can't begin to explain. It smells like leather, even though this one is a solid four years old. And when I say it smells like leather, I mean like strongly of leather, like brand new leather kind of smell. It's freaking glorious. This one she called Deep Atlantic. And it is a very um, firm leather. I don't know what kind. It has gray elastic, but you can see the dye on the inside. Um, the spine is still like smooth. Oh, it hurts to even do that because I can feel it wrinkling and I don't want it to. <laughs> this TN is one of those that I don't really touch very much because I'm terrified that something will happen to it. But I adore it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, we have my Traveler's Company TN. This is the blue one, uh, not Pan Am. The one after Pan Am. So mine is more teal than blue. I seriously, seriously want to get a um, camel one because as you can see, it, it's it's marked, but it's not the same. It's not the same. And I do believe this is older than this one. And it's just not the same. I want all the marks. Um, I have an amethyst charm. I have the pen loop. I have the Traveler's Company fountain pen. Mine is a clip. Um, I just did my inserts and stuff. I literally just finished doing this not too long ago, a few days ago. I have a monthly Traveler's Company insert. I have a regular dot grid insert from Amazon and that is all that's in it. This gets thrown in my purse. If I need to make a shopping list because I'm going to the market, I write it in here, throw it in my purse that kind of a thing and yes i could do it on my phone but come on really <sighs> um this is my oh super old to the point that i think the paint is starting to kind of deteriorate a little bit this is night sky from uh foxy fix from <laughs> ooh, seven years ago eight years ago but eight years ago maybe um, I have some Swarovski crystal charms on it, a moon and a star. It has a wolf stamp. It's like, look how old that logo is. <laughs> it is super old, but it's still holding on. I used it for one book July last year and it was freaking glorious. I loved it. Still, I love it. Am I ever gonna sell this? No. <laughs> I've sold a lot of travelers, not books, but no. This is my pride and joy. <laughs> There's no other way to to describe it. This is this is my pride and joy. It came in this glorious pouch. This is um hemlock from Jeans Enigma. This was my very, very first traveler's notebook from that shop. I don't even know how I came across them. It just, 
it popped up this one uh, Deep Atlantic I was actually able to snag it in a buy sell group the Travelers Notebook buy sell group on Facebook when it was still going and somebody was like yeah just the news blah, blah, blah. and I was like oh I'll take it I'll take it I'll take it and it came and it's essentially brand new it looks no different than this one which I bought brand new from the shop so this is Hemlock Hemlock is how do I describe it is super dark green bordering black depending on how you look at it I have no words it's very similar to Deep Atlantic yes but not um, that's like the inside even the inside has died as burnished edges it's just glossy and luxe and lush I can't I don't know I don't know if I will ever use this like what would I use it for because I don't want to like throw it in my purse ever the spine is still nice and soft so if I open it oh my god do you see the wrinkles that pains me <laughs> so I don't know when I will ever use this or what for this is for me this is kind of a collector's these two so you can see the difference in tones. I see these and I just fall in love with them all over again. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If you guys have anything, like any ideas, what I can use these for, let me know. But, oh my God. These are never leaving my side. Ever. Ever. Actually, the only ones that might leave my side, well, the only one is this one. To be honest, <laughs> I'm not emotionally attached to them as I am to these. These are definitely emotional attachments. All of them. Even this one I'm emotionally attached to. Right here. <laughs> so although it may not be the most extensive collection, I think I have some pretty solid gems in there. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you guys have any suggestions, for my two babies. <laughs> no, not you. She's eyeing me funny now. If you guys have any suggestions for these, let me know. Nothing that will include taking them out of my house or basically out of this pouch. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I will. Oh, beautiful. I'll see you guys later. Bye.